Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this fake camera shake and shutter effect. So I've got a clip on the timeline with little to no motion in it, and we're going to add some fake camera shake, or just to add some style to this jump roping and some movement to it. And we're going to do that in the effects control panel by adding some keyframes under the position and some other effects. So the first thing I want to do, if my clip is just the size of the frame, is I want to scale up just a, just a tiny bit so I have some room around the edges to move our clip and wiggle it back and forth. So you just want to scale your clip up a few points so you have some room. And then I'm going to add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip by clicking this stopwatch icon to toggle animation. And what I'm going to do to create this shake is a, an easy workflow for this is to make sure you have your selection tool highlighted be in your program window and just click the motion property so it's highlighted and you should see this blue box come up showing your clips boundaries and everything and in this way I can simply start here and then I can move forward a little bit on the timeline and I can just drag and move it around and you'll see this blue line stretch across showing where you moved it so I can just slowly go back and forth I can see exactly the path that I've been creating and I can try to time movements. Just make sure you're always in the program window. That's the only place you'll see the blue boundaries. And I can try to time shakes to when the feet hit the floor or do different things depending on your clip. But this way is a really quick way without having to adjust the X and Y parameters individually to just create some random motion throughout the clip. So it might be a little tedious, but you can pretty quickly create this circular shake and the more spaced apart your keyframes are the slower the kind of camera shake is so if you're just trying to do like an unsteady handheld feel you could spread them out much further or if you're just trying to do a much more of like a earthquake type of shake you could make them more violent and quick another tip is if you do have a particularly long clip after you have done a good bit of the clip you can always highlight the keyframes command C and command V to just copy and paste the same pattern kind of over and over it would be kind of indistinguishable to tell and you can move things around if you really wanted to randomize it a little more but once we have the whole clip keyframed you see we have this cool handheld motion and kind of camera shake happening it kind of looks like as they're jumping on the ground now, as an additional way to add some like flair and style to it, what I like to do is go to the directional blur effect in the blur and sharpen video effects folder, click and drag that onto the clip. And here we're just going to create some quick shutters of blur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a keyframe onto the blur length and I'm going to keep it at zero. And then I'm simply going to go one frame over. So just using my arrow key one frame over. And I'm going to add a good amount of blur. So something like this, you could even go really a lot, but I'll just do a little bit. And I actually want to do mine. You could choose any direction you want, but I'll do 90 degrees left and right. And then I'm going to move one frame over again, and I'm going to set it back to zero. So what we get is this really quick shutter flash or this blur flash that happens, which is a cool effect on its own. And what I'm going to do in this case is simply copy and paste that over you know, every time his feet hit the ground, maybe. Like so. So now we've gone from our original clip with no motion to this really more lively, fun effect where we've added some camera flash and some camera shake going on. And hopefully this taught you a little bit about keyframes, some stuff you can do in the effects and tools panel. And you can keep this in mind for when you want to add motion to non-motion shots where it fits. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out my channel for more tutorials and effects. Subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.